Hello guys and welcome back to this new video. Today we are going to talk about the Talagula and um, who are this tribe belonging to the Gond um, tribal group in India. Now they're fascinating because uh, very much um, evolved compared to our standards. For instance, um, they do not believe, they never believed in pre-marital um, celibacy, right? So they always believed that the premarital sex is important to establish compatibility. Now think about the relevance of that, right? So if we exclude from this point moral judgments of sorts and everybody is allowed to have their own beliefs, uh, one important thing is that they always believe that, right? Whereas basically for many, many centuries, uh, we have believed that it's more of virtue and women would be, um, you know, compared to prostitutes if they had sex before marriage. And I think that in some communities, this is still prevalent as a mentality. So this is an important point, right? Um, now, the other side of this is, that, of course, that that kind of allows um, a certain type of behavior where um, you do not um, uh, or it's very hard to make a difference between what is consensual and what is not consensual, right? So it's a tribe where uh, there are no sexual crimes, this one. Because again, you know, if if you had to test everybody, then, you know, um, uh, men would feel authorized um, to behave um, in ways that we would consider to be crimes in modern, so well, even in old societies, right? So that's the first point. The second point is that they allowed also widows to get remarried. Now, the law um, in India, since they are situated in India, was introduced only in 1856, the law that allowed widows to get remarried. But uh, the only um, rule um, that uh, described the uh, this group of the Gond uh, tribal group um, has is that orgies are not allowed, whereas sex, um, primordial sex, um, is allowed among every individual of the tribe. Now, have things changed in modern times? Of course, you know, integration, uh, globalization, those are two prominent factors uh, that make very quickly, um, you know, their way um, and introduce relevant um, changes, right? So, for instance, women have started to cover um, and to cover progressively more um, in um, this group. And, and so that happens, you know, in, I'm assuming, every tribe at this point, um, you know, maybe except for the Yanomano in Brazil, I think, and a few other tribes around the world, possibly. But anyway, this is interesting, right, because um, this um, form of thinking is relatively new um, to us in modern times, but it has always existed in this tribe. That's it, guys. Um, so I want to leave the comments to you. Um, so if you want, please comment below and let us know your thoughts. And we'll talk um, in a new episode next time. And in the meantime, if you have enjoyed this video or any other video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. That would be seriously appreciated. And we'll talk again next time. Bye.